Hey guys, it's Shadow and today we're doing a I'm gonna show you all the season 14 sets I've got. Uh so I also got these two sets. This is the Dragon's Forge. And the Forge and the Fusion Dragon, that's back from season seven. I also got the Ultra Ultrasonic Raider, which is another set from season no, not season 7, it's season before, which isn't really season, it's a special day of the departed. And now I'll show you the Starting off we have jo Lloyd's Jungle Chopper Bike. It comes with a henchman, Nia and Lloyd, and this bike. Let's have a look at the back of this. Okay, this is the, this is the back set. It has a thing that shows the back of the bike can become a flyer and the bike like pushes down okay let's see the jungle hey okay, guys this is the next biggest set of the wave the jungle dragon uh has this cool two-headed warrior called paul Palric? Palric? i don't know yeah it has a scene on this little flyer uh, Lloyd on the Jungle Dragon. This set personally should have come with Nia, in my opinion, because Nia was very welcoming to the dragon in the show. Um, and these are the figures down here. Okay, let's see the back. This is the back of the box, and every set contains the Storm Amulet, just like every Season 15 set contains the Ocean Amulet. Looks like this tail moves on its own. Like the old sets do, it has the head of the Overlord Dragon, but print to make it look a lot more dappy. Let's go to the Keeper's Village. Okay guys, only one more set to go. This is the Keeper's Village. Down here we have the minifigures. We have Kai, Jay, Paul, a henchman, and Chief Mamatus. Now, here we have a totem pole that has a storm animal on the top. Jay's caught in a trap here. Um... And this is guy making some food down here, so this, that, and Paul's jumping. He's using his Ninjago movie hair piece. Let's see the back of the box. Okay, so the back of the box expands on what there is a bit more, and it shows you what there is. It shows you that this totem pole can split into multiple pieces. Personally, this is my favourite part of the totem pole. Other bits include this guy, my least favourite, and then this guy. Here's Jay leaping out of the mouth of something that's looking a bit like Wojira. Uh, if we look down here, we can see some traps like the ones Jay caught on in the front of the cover. And if we look here, we can see more detail behind the cave. There is a jail cell and cause trapped in it. Time for the Keeper's Village. Ah, I cannot... I did not mean Keeper's Village, I meant the Catamaran Sea Bath. Okay you guys, this is the final and biggest set of the wave, the Catamaran Sea Battle. It comes with six minifigures, let's get into them. Okay guys, here are the minifigures. We have Island J, Island Kai, Island Zane, a henchman, another henchman, and Chief Mamatus. I just realised the pronunciation is Catamaran. So, this... It's the Keeper's Catamaran, and this is the Ninja's Catamaran. This is the back of the box, and it looks like the Keeper's Catamaran can split the sides off and become a boat of sorts. I don't think the Ninjas can do that. They can push some swords forward. Uh, the Ninja's one can split further apart. And this one has some stud shooters and it's fangs at the side. Well guys, that's a review of everything I've got today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.